What's up guys, it's uh, CustomTacticals.com here and I'm um, taking a look at a uh, Boker Epicenter knife designed by Todd Rexford of uh, Colorado, United States and this is one of uh, Boker Plus's more higher end knives that they've released um, you know the uh, so called uh, Sebenza Killer style knife um, titanium frame lock uh, affordable price point MSRP around 200 bucks, but generally available new for about 130 or so. Um, so this one is the VG10 steel, made in China, um, like most of the Boker Pluses are, um, with the uh, Rexford logo, Todd Rexford's logo on the back for his design. VG10 steel. Um, interestingly, this model does not say China on it. Like I could not find it written on it, but on the box and on any materials you'll see, you'll see that they do say made in China. Uh, first of all, I'm going to point out one of the glaring flaws on this knife. I don't know why. Uh, it's probably just this one. Um, it was, um, it, it, it has a, a serious lockup failure issue. So when once it locks up and you push it, you see, did you notice that I just pushed it and I, the lock completely failed, completely failed. You can hear it slide. I can't get it to fill all the time, but it's 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 moving. You can hear it. So the the lock is failing. Um, just now, I made it completely fail in the first one. Actually, one time I almost cut myself because I was testing the lock out, and bam, it closed on my fingers, and I almost cut my finger with the bottom of it here. But that's not very good. Um, so, that just wanted to get that out of the way. I, I, it's probably just uh, specific to this one. I don't know if it's because the lock bar is not very stiff, or or or, or what the problem is. Maybe maybe it needs to be roughed up on the tang there. Um, I'm I'm hoping they're not coming to the factory all this way, or because that would be a problem. So, the pocket clip on this is kind of neat. It's got some texture on it. You can switch it from the rear to the front. Um, sort of a nice looking large pivot on this one. <clears throat> the blade length is about uh, just over three and a half inches and the overall uh, length of the blade is about eight and three eighths of an inch. So it's a good size. Um, similar, similar to a large Sabenza but uh, with a slightly wider blade profile so you kind of get a little bit more feel, a little bit more chunky feel to it. Um, aside from this issue, it's actually quite a nice Nice looking and nice handling blades. Uh, uh, the blade has a sort of a slantier plunge, plunge grind on it, which is kind of nice. Um, the the handles are what they call 3D contoured, which I just call fully contoured. So you you see that that full curve that goes right across. Something you generally only see on custom blades, um, but uh, I guess with the all the productions getting so much better. Um, we're starting to see it on uh, production knives too, especially ones made in China. So that's kind of a nice feature. Makes the blade, the handles feel a lot more, um, a lot more comfortable than say a flat, flat top handle. So some of the things I really liked were those. Um, uh, the, the, sh the blade's are actually quite sharp out of the box. I was quite impressed. Uh, the VG10 steel is fantastic, so I mean, there's nothing to complain about there. Um, I mean, it's not going to be, it's not quite as good as S30V or um, 35VN, but um, we're, you know, it's the price point here, uh, 130 bucks, right? So, overall, if, if, if this failure is sort of an isolated issue, um, then this is a great knife. I'm going to be sending it back in, and uh, we'll see what Boker says. Um, this is pretty serious failure though, if you ask me. Like, I'm moving this blade, like, a lot. Like, we're not talking a little bit of movement. This is like, I feel like the lock is going to slide out any moment. So that's, um, hoping that's going to be fixed. That's, uh, too bad. I checked it a few different areas. I played with the pivot a bit to see if I can make it better, but nothing seems to have worked. Um, uh, I don't, I don't know what it is. The, the the tang is quite curved on this one, quite angled. So it may just be the uh, engineering design. I hope uh, the other ones out there are not not doing this because somebody could get hurt. 
and uh, that we don't want that to happen, right? So I uh, hope you guys like the review, uh, the Boker uh, Plus Epicenter, designed by Todd Rexford. Have a good one.